In the lobby of Ramsey Solutions, Matt and Brian are with us. Is it Brian? It's Bryn. Bryn, I can, you, I'm sorry. No worries. It's probably happened before. A lot. Matt and Bryn are with us. Welcome, guys. Good to have you. Thanks, Dave. Likewise, thank you. And where do you live? We're from Lake Tahoe, California. Oh, fun. Beautiful area. Yeah. Okay, cool. And all the way to Nashville to do your debt-free scream. Yeah. It's a yes, bit sir. of a haul. It was worth it. Yeah, I love it. So how much debt have you guys paid off? Uh, we've paid off $50,000 in the last uh, 11 months. Boom. Yeah. Just like that. Boom. I love it. Yes. And making what kind of money during this time? I uh, started out making 50 and a uh, household income of 85 uh, currently. So how do you get that much of a raise in one year? Uh, taking extra side jobs, moving across the country. We're originally from uh, Wisconsin. Uh, took a job in San Diego and uh, one more transfer up in uh, Truckee, enjoying every minute of it. And then moved you up to Lake Tahoe then? Yes, sir. Very cool. What do you guys do? Uh, I'm a landscape um, manager, and mm -hmm. so I work with a handful of guys just doing landscaping and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm a travel writer. Okay. Very cool. I love it. Good. So what kind of debt was the $50,000? <laughs> Mostly student loans. <laughs> student <laughs> loans, a little bit of medical bills. Uh, we got a little thrifty moving to San Diego, so we had a camper that we paid off that uh, we lived in for a year and a half. But... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely uh, definitely made some progress over the last couple months. That's amazing. So what started you on this journey 11 months ago? So when we got married three years ago, we had talked to each other right before I got married. Matt was telling me, like, I do not want to be in debt. This is a really big priority to me to me not be in debt. I was like, well, no, duh. Like, who wants to be in debt? That <laughs> sounds good to me. Like, sure, that's fine. So for the first two years, like, we tried doing it on our own, and we managed to pay off about 10000 bucks each year. Um, and then when we moved out to San Diego, our church there was offering Dave Ramsey. Uh -huh. It's like, Hey, I've heard of this guy. Like, and he starts saying something about like cash and envelopes. And I'm like, whatever, like finances, that sounds cool. Let's check it out. Um, so yeah, we went to the class and haven't looked back since. And that's when all of a sudden we were able to kick it into high gear because we actually had, you know, a process and a step and know how to do it and yeah, work our way through it. So it, all of a sudden then when we were able to pay off the 50 grand, because we had the plan. So you kind of cared about the subject, both of you. Um, you were okay with it, and, and Matt was like on it for sure. And but then when you went into the class, it, it gave you a, a path. Yeah. Well, then we just knew we had spent those first two years. Like, I mean, we were both very passionate about finances and very much wanted to be debt free. Mm -hmm. But every single person we talked to, just we felt like they were selling us something, mm -hmm. and they weren't giving us good direction. And we tried talking to all the usual finance people that you're supposed to talk to. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was just kind of the usual gimmicks about, well, you should use debt to get ahead and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And so then when we went to the FPU class, it was like, well, this is different. Like, I like this. I mean, the first time you walked on stage, you were like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We're like, I like this guy. Like, <laughs> I, get, uh, I get bored with that, yeah. So yeah, that was it. different. Well, it wasn't boring. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it, you know, I guess, it's interesting to me now, looking back on it all these years later and all the number of people that have come through the class, Financial Peace University, and have done what you all are doing. And I, we often sit around here in our organization and ask ourselves, what is it that actually works? What's the special sauce? And obviously the special sauce is you guys. You're the hero. You, you've got to be able to have the want to to sacrifice. But what gave you the extra spark on your already hero was just that you had a path and you, it made it believable is what it sounds like. Yeah. And I mean, I think he, the huge key of it was surrounding ourselves with that kind of culture and mentality. So it helps that the FPO class has all the people there who are thinking the same way you do. I mean, we lived in Southern California. No one thinks like that. Right. So we're surrounded by people who are driving brand new lease cars and houses they can't afford and, mm -hmm. you know, just living that kind of lifestyle. And so all of a sudden having the FPU class and then we'd listen to the radio show like every single day and just having someone tell us, you know, get up off the couch, go do something with your life, like get ahead. You can do this. It is possible. I mean, we had, for a while we were on state aid, we had an unexpected pregnancy, you know, we moved, we lived in Southern California, we had student loans and people use all of those excuses all the time as reasons why they can't do it. So to have someone saying, no, you can do it, even though you have all this stuff. Like, that doesn't matter, and you can fight your way out of this. That was just very empowering to be. So the more we surround ourselves with that culture and that kind of mindset, the more it became our own. And um, that's actually how I was able to become a writer. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I was listening to you, and you kept saying, you know, get up off the couch and stop watching TV. And, um, <laughs> and so my daughter would take naps, and I'd be exhausted, and all I wanted to do was just, you know, chill out. But I was like, you know, I have two hours a day that she naps. What could I be doing with my life in those two hours every single day that I have free? Um, and so within a month... 
I was already getting paid writing jobs and now I get to work like this dream job that I never thought was possible. And yet it was because I took those two hours every single day and just applied it toward where I wanted to be eventually. That is awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you. And so you're writing, writing travel articles. What kind of travel yes. articles? What do you write about? Um, I mean, mostly right now because we do have a toddler, so I can't really travel the globe, unfortunately. But um, mm -hmm. it's just a lot of research-based stuff. So I do a lot of the um, content writing for different mm -hmm. blogs for travel apps, and they mm -hmm. just need the page views and stuff like that. So I do mostly content writing. Very good. Yeah, Very thanks. cool. That's fun, though. I like I it. enjoy it's, it. It's, it's, it's rich, yeah. And what, what does something like that pay? Um, most of the articles are like 50 to a hundred dollars an article. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I can only do two hours a day, but I'm making around 1200 a month mm -hmm. right now writing, which for a stay at home mom, like it helps out. You're averaging, you're averaging 50 bucks an hour probably. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Good for you. That's awesome. Man, you guys are incredible. I like you. You're rock stars, man. This is so fun. All right. So we're going to talk to the 12 month ago or two year ago, you guys that are listening. And they don't yet know they can do it, but they would like to. They don't, they don't really like that, but they just don't know how to get out, and they're not sure they can. And that used to be you, right? Yes. So what is the secret to getting out of debt? What is the, process, what is the thing that did it for you guys? I'd, I'd say the biggest thing for me was not spending that money um, on other life events. For example, we had, a, we had a time where we sold our camper, and we had a couple of our uh, resources kind of all come together at the same time, and we were looking at a... A fair chunk of change for what we're what we're used to, um, and it was really really tempting to go buy a house, thinking that we're going to be taking care of the future by investing now of sorts, not having to pay, um, you know, renting and stuff long term. But instead, we took that money and we chucked it towards debt. And uh, I think that was one of the biggest paradigm shifts for us, is just realizing that the best way to get ahead is to take care of the stuff in the past and uh, just kind of work towards the future as you go. Very cool. Good. Um, what about you? I would say that it's all going to be worth it. <laughs> And just, yeah, it's totally worth every single, it's so short and it seems so short now looking back, like it doesn't seem that painful and going through it is a lot harder than when you're standing on the other side of it. Mm -hmm. And just, yeah, it's totally worth it. So uh, from the time you started to the time you finished, was it easier than you thought it was going to be when you started or harder than you thought it was going to be when you started? It was just boring. <laughs> 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 we didn't do anything. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're okay with being bored, it'll be a breeze. We're not that okay with being bored. Um, but, you know, it's, we just, I would say marry someone who's your best friend and who just, you can have fun with doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. we're still able to have some of the best years of our lives doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got 11, 11 months of that and now you can, you've lived like no one else. Now you can live like no one else. Oh, yeah, there exactly. you go. Okay, pronounce your name for me one more time. Bryn. Bryn. I yes. didn't want to mess it up twice. Thank I apologize. You. Okay. So, Matt and Bryn, $50,000 paid off in 11 months, making fifty to $85,000 a year. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, two, one. We're debt-free! <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Way to go, you guys. Just like that. That's how it's done. Man, I love that.